Yo, what's going on, everybody? DS1 Ross, of course. New Black Alliance. We the ones. You know what it is, man. Shout out to the day ones. Everybody from 900 block. Smart money achievers. Y'all know what it is, man. Um, Just wanted to talk to y'all about you know, um, I want to really get into something that's really minute, some people would consider, but I understand that these little minute issues and things that we take part in, they all add up into the big picture. So... Today, I want to talk about self-hatred and how self-hatred is directly connected to consumerism. Now, as you can see, everyone's on social media. Everybody does everything on social media. And the number one thing that's used on these networks, these social networks, is the filter. It's the filter. And the filter is used, I feel, because people are afraid to display their flaws. And a person who's afraid to display their flaws is a person who's not really secure with themselves or secure with their lives and pretty much want to hide things. So they cover it up with this filter. They cover up their pimples. They cover up they, they messed up hairline or the fact that she don't really got no ass or she don't really have no breasts or she has an acne problem. You know, or she just want to look lighter or he want to look lighter or he's fat. So he want to look, he want to look muscular. So he crop his pictures and, you know, Photoshop and use all that stuff. All of those things are form of self-hatred. All of those things, because if you don't accept yourself for who you are and how you look, how do you want someone else to accept you? And how could you properly communicate with someone in a relationship? See, so self-hate also affects relationships between one another too, between.